mostly integrate internet-based services into our entertainment and navigation systems. Here, what you see is a future prototype for Mercedes-Benz telematic system. All right, so this is our starting screen. It's a stylized globe. All selectable functions revolve around it, and as you turn the controller, you also turn the globe. The design of the main menu here, circling a symbolic Earth, is more than a visual highlight. It actually incorporates the use of several design principles, such as using the metaphor intended to increase usability, learnability, with the main focus of enabling easier navigation. The controller that you see here is our current production version. It's a rotary multifunctional controller available in our S and our C class models. Now I want to point out what these two screens here do. This is Chris inside the car. He'll be controlling the system today. This is a command controller. And over here is the My Command interface. So <clears throat> as you turn the controller, our main screen, the main categories of media, navigation, settings, communication, and web are controlled by the controller. As you press the controller, the main application is brought up. Inside the category, you can rotate between the available features by selecting, by rotating the controller, you can select the feature by selecting browser tabs. You can rotate the controller to preview the available web pages. Basically, browser tabs give you a preview of the open web pages. You can select the desired web page by simply pressing the controller. Inside the browser, you can move the cursor in one of eight directions, which include up, down, left, right, and diagonally. Also, you can zoom in and out of the page content by simply rotating the controller. By placing the cursor over a link, you can also automatically highlight the link and it provides you a large preview. So browsing is great while you're parked. We also want to make sure that you can use all the useful information on the internet while driving. So navigation is one good example of this. We're going to go ahead and head to navigation by using the back key and heading out to the main menu. By rotating the controller, we can find our way to the navigation application. To select it, we simply press the controller. Once inside navigation, we're going to bring up the Maps application. Here on the map, you can see points of interest that have been loaded live from the internet via Google, Google local search. If you zoom in a little bit farther, you can see additional features, such as parking and real-time gas prices. If you zoom out, you can see weather provided by weather.com. It's real time. And you can also access additional features of the system by going into the options menu and pressing the dedicated options key. The curve list you see here is designed to map off into the rotary controller. Also, the highlighted item provides a preview of all the information under the category to prevent users from getting lost in the deep menu structure. You can also search for a specific destination by doing a search query, or you can also search by previous results. Here we're going to search by previous results and look for an Italian restaurant. Here on the map, all search results are displayed as points of interest. You can easily navigate between them by rotating the command controller. Over here on the preview card, you have basic restaurant information, such as the address and a star rating, so you know what diners thought of the previous experience. So now that we found a restaurant that we're interested in, we're going to go ahead and press the command controller to bring up an application that we call TripAssist. TripAssist provides information relevant to the POI. So for example, if you were looking at a movie theater, you could look for available movie times, you could purchase tickets. If you were looking at a parking garage, you could reserve a parking space, but since it's a restaurant, you could make a reservation. But before we do that, we might want to know what our destination looks like. So we're going to go ahead and go to Google Street View. Inside Google Street View, you can preview your possible destination. By rotating the command controller, you can also rotate your surroundings. What well, looks like a nice part of town, we like what we see. We're going to go ahead and add this to our route. Go straight up. So on the way to the restaurant, we decided we might like some company. We want to go ahead and pick up a friend. So to do this, we're going to use a dedicated back key, head out to the main screen, and we're going to rotate around the globe until we find the communications application. Once in communications, we're going to select the address book. Once in the address book, you can see you're connected to your social networks such as Facebook and LinkedIn, allowing you to stay continuously connected with friends and colleagues. Now that we've found our friend, we're going to go ahead and bring up TripAssist once more and add them to our route. So on the way to pick up our friend, you might want to listen to some music. So once again, we're going to exit back out to the main screen and go into the media application. Just like the rest of our system, the radio is also based solely on the internet. Our world radio application allows you to browse thousands of radio stations from around the world. Chris over here inside the car is from Germany, so let's see if we can find him a German radio station. We're going to the options and browsing recent regions. By going to recent regions, we can search for Germany. And once inside Germany, we can browse for available stations that are currently being broadcast via the internet in Germany.